things like that. But we will be live on the web, so no streaking, please. No planking. Okay? The equipment wouldn't handle it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad there's some laughter because we do have something to celebrate. Let's make it work now. For the first time in my career of over 30 years as a journalist, mental health has been in federal and state budgets. Is that good? Yes. Let's now give these people some direction on how not to waste what are still insufficient funds. I'd like to introduce now um, the leading lady in the Mental Illness Fellowship of WA, Sandra Vidot. Hello everybody and welcome. Um, it's really great to see such a huge number of people turn up today on such a beautiful day after all that lovely rain yesterday as well. I was um, reading and hearing on the news this week that, that some religious group predicted the world was going to end today. <laughs> I happened to mention that to Annika and her response was, well, I hope we get the event over with. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a priority of life. <laughs> I'd like to acknowledge the Honourable Minister for Mental Health and Disability and thankfully not water. <laughs> um, it's really good of you to give up your time and come today. I know how much you've got on at the moment. Also, we're so privileged to have the Commissioner for Mental Health, Mr. Eddie Bartnick, here. And Eddie went to our Lorikeet Rehabilitation Centre open day, and the staff and members fed back that you were just delightful, Eddie, so thank you for doing that. Also, not like to acknowledge and honour our Indigenous population in WA uh, as the traditional owners of this land. Our theme for today, of course, and it will become more and more clear, is, is the physical, looking after the physical health of people with mental illness, which is often ignored. Um, we certainly at MIFWA are moving forwards in this area, and at Lorikeet Centre, for instance, we're moving away from centre-based activities to more activities in the general community because we feel that, that people with mental illness should be able to access all the opportunities that all the rest of us do out there. So Lorikeet members, for instance, are engaging in swimming and playing tennis and going regularly on camps. We also have a member of Lorikeet here, Dolly, who runs complementary therapies at Lorikeet and that is always booked out. So she does eye and spa and reflexology and massage and the members love that. Um, at our early intervention psychosis program, there again, they, they are funded by State Mental Health Commission to do a lot of recreational activities in the community. So they've been involved in community act activities like the Avon Descent um, and they, they've just recently started dancing classes. So we're trying very hard to, to access all these community activities and of course that's really good for community <coughs> inclusion. Our family support program, I was reading the manager's report um, a couple of days ago and a very elite ocean reef yacht club has now taken on the children from our family support program who are all families where there's mental illness present in a boating for kids activities now that is going extremely well so we want more and more of these sorts of examples to to happen out there I'd like to, I don't know if Julie McCrossan is going to do full introductions of the national panel but I'll just very quickly go through and first and foremost we were very happy to see Juanita Fishwick selected to be on the national pa panel. Juanita is very well known here as a consumer representative and we're looking forward to hearing from her. The national panel also includes Professor Tim Lambert, um, a carer and uh, one of the CEOs from our sister fellowship, the New South Wales Schizophrenia Fellowship. 
We also have a lot of groundbreaking work's been done here in WA and we're so privileged that Professor Lahn and David Lawrence and Anne Bates and Vivian Kemp are joining us today to answer your questions later from the state panel. So I would just like to read you a, a little bit about the two gentlemen sitting up the front now. David Lawrence is Senior Statistici Statistician at the Telethon Institute for Child Health Research. His research interests include the physical health of people with mental illness, smoking, diet, nutrition and obesity. <coughs> he has been involved in several major population-based survey and record linkage projects, including the 1993 WA Child Health Survey, the Western Australian Aboriginal Child Health Survey and Duty to Care, which many of us here know about, <coughs> a record linkage study of the physical health of people with mental illness. Professor Lahn is Associate Professor of Psychiatry at the University of Western Australia and Consultant Psychiatrist at Fremantle Hospital. He has particular clinical and research interests in post-traumatic stress, cultural issues in mental health, and the interaction between physical and mental health. He is co-author of the recently published Clinical Guidelines for the Physical Care of Mental Health Consumers. I would now like to introduce the Honourable Helen Morton, Minister for Mental Health and Disability. Thank you.